my grandma used to take us to the Catholic Church. And that's how I was raised, you know, in the Catholic Church. And um, every Sunday, you know, my grandma would find some way to get us to go with her. And, you know, my mom, my mom, when she first became Muslim, she really didn't know anything because, like, you know, she didn't have a lot of Muslims around her teaching her and, you know, kind of making her go to the masjid and everything. So she, you know, she's kind of by herself in the in a city where we, there's not a lot of Muslims. Uh, my name is Asiya. Asiya. But, and then, so my mom became Muslim and then we moved to another city where you know, cause, because she was, um, she, when she first became Muslim, she was Shia, and then she started learning more, and then she re, um, re-reverted, and she became Sunni, and then that's when I was older, you know, and I, I started noticing that she would, yeah, Shia, and then Sunni, alhamdulillah. So, um, I started noticing, you know, I used to, like, I was I was still a little kid, so I would, like, wear shorts, and I didn't really care about, like, if I, uh, what I wore in front of boys or whatever, because I wasn't raised, like, you know, I was, I was, I wasn't raised, like, Muslim, because my mom didn't know that much, because she was still learning herself, so, um, where was I? So, yeah, I started noticing my mom, she's praying, and, you know, she was, <laughs> she didn't, know, like, she didn't have anything to show her what the prayer times were or anything, but she like she tried her best and and she um she really taught us about Islam as she learned it and my grandma would still teach us about Catholicism and as as I got older I would, would like you know I would ask my grandma questions about Jesus and how the Trinity and everything because like I was really involved in the church you know. And then, um, and then when I would ask my mom, what my mom said made a lot more sense to me, even as a little kid, because it was just plain and simple. And then my grandma had this whole big thing about, oh, God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus or whatever. And it was just, it was just confusing, especially, you know, I was little. And then when I turned about, I would say seven or eight, probably eight. I um I decided to become Muslim and like start practicing because I was never baptized so I was Muslim anyways so I just decided to just um start practicing and then as I got older you know I got like and then my family would say stuff to me like oh you um you're not the same religion as Saddam Hussein or you know just stuff like that and then when I when I first started wearing hijab which wasn't until you know maybe two years ago my like when I first went over to my family's house with it like to my great grandma and my great aunt's house like they were like oh what's what's this and I was like it's a change and they're like it's not a very good change and I was like you know what it's what I it's what I want to do so I don't see why you guys have such a problem with you know me doing this when it doesn't affect anybody except me and it's not it's not anything there's nothing wrong with it and so now alhamdulillah I, I am Muslim and inshallah I'll keep learning more as I do do you guys have any questions? no? No questions? What does Islam mean to you? Oh, sorry. oh, Islam to me is. What's your name? What's your name? That mic? Oh, yeah, I already told them. Did I hear she Yeah, I told them. Islam means to me. Like, you know, believing that there's one God and that is Allah. And that, you know, Muhammad 
Saw Islam as his messenger and that all the prophets are his messengers and to know that you know Allah created everything and he is the most powerful and he can whatever he gives to us he can just take it away and that's why we have to be grateful and that's pretty so yeah anything else Do I have friends? That's interesting because um, I don't know because uh, non-Muslim friends? Yeah, I do. I have I have non-Muslim friends, and you know what? My non-Muslim friends. Oh yeah, you know my non-Muslim friends. I have I have like a lot because you know. I'm going to tell you some stuff about my friends. They are some of the most accepting, coolest, most non-judgmental people ever. I have a friend, me and my brother, we have like the mutual friends, and we have a friend named Christian, okay? And he started fasting with my brother, okay? He fasted for two days with my brother fully doing everything, and then he went to the masjid at night with my brother. Okay, and now every time I see him, he says salam alaikum, and I'm just like, wow, you know, your name is Christian, but I wonder what people think when they hear you saying salam alaikum, and it's just, it's just awesome, and everybody does it, everybody, if I say salam alaikum, they'll say alaikum salam, exactly, but the thing is, since we're only like, we're still kids, you know, we're all, like, he's, I think he's like 14 or 15, um, our friend Christian, and so he can't he can't really do anything by himself. How do you advise the younger of the Muslim to deal with society and fashion music? Oh, good question. <coughs> <coughs> Let me think about that. Like, just tell them to you know spend a lot of time in the masjid because masjid is the best place to be. I remember I used to I used to be so. You know, I used to go to the masjid every day, and that was when I was the most on my dean. I was like, that's when I was the happiest, you know. And when I would think about Allah and and you know what's gonna happen to me after I die, I wasn't I wasn't scared. I knew that because I was in the masjid all the time. I wasn't I wasn't um put in front of all these bad things, you know. I was with I was with all my you know my my sisters and all you know my aunts or whatever and everybody and we just used to like do good stuff and then I don't know it was just it, being in the ministry just makes you stronger I think unless your ministry is not strong if your community is not strong then I don't know be with be pick a few people that are that are good Muslims and in your eyes you know who who you think are going to help you because you know one of my friends she told me that your friends are going to be raised with you you know you're well basically you're going to be raised with your friends and and you know if you don't keep good friends then you're going to basically be raised with bad people and then Allah's going to say you know was like why why were you with these people that you know did all these bad things so yeah okay thank you for the you're done any any other questions Yeah, alhamdulillah, I, I know, I know what, what I have to do. Um, um, I, uh, since I really didn't know anything before, I was, like, because I was little and stuff, so I think when I wanted to be Muslim, I must have been, like, seven. That was when I, I didn't know if I wanted to be Muslim. But I started getting interested in it and noticing the things that my mom did and, you know, wondering more about it. And then I would ask her questions, and that's basically, yeah. Now you're teaching me. Um, <laughs> um, now I'm, I'm going to be 17, inshallah. 
I just want to say one thing. Assalamu alaikum to everybody. Uh, my dad teaches me about Islam. So does my son. If I say something that's wrong, they stop me and say, uh-uh, uh-uh, that's not right, Mom. Don't say that unless you know 100% that it's right. Hey. <laughs> I have another boy here who is a uh, revert, and he wants to tell his story. Is that okay with everybody? I'm actually at his mom's house. I think I told the story my friend Nancy. Does everybody remember my friend Nancy's story? Where are you getting them from? Where are you getting them from? I know so many reverts. Alhamdulillah, I know so many reverts. So, uh, yeah, I'm the head of the game. <laughs> Whatever, I'm the head of the game. So my friend Nancy actually met at work, and I was uh, Muslim, of course. And uh, I started teaching her about Islam, and then her son, he's here, and he's going to tell his story, okay? He actually became Muslim before his mother, and he was 13 years old. So here he is. Are you ready, Knight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here he is. It's all yours, Xavier. So, so I'm like, um, why do I just, just start from, uh, like, when you, when you met it? All right. Um, my mom met Michelle, or Zahra, Zahra, at the TCC. Oh, at work. At college, work, 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 at work. And, oh man, at work. And then my mom introduced me to her children, Zahra's children. And then we became friends, and then they started teaching me and my mom about Islam, like what the Bible, because we were Christian before we converted, and uh, um, how old you were when you converted? Well, I don't remember. Yeah, thirteen. I converted when I was thirteen. Now I'm fourteen, almost fifteen, a couple months. And, um, <laughs> um, funny. Uh, was it, where was that? Um, you're saying you were 13. Oh, yeah. I was 13 when I converted, and after I met her, ch um, Zahra's children, we all became friends, and they started teaching me about Islam. And the stuff interested and the stuff interests me, and they also started teaching me about wrongs in the in the Bible that were contradicting themselves, and I was like, whoa. And then um, one day I just. Became Muslim. I did my shahada, and then uh, felt better. Started, um, then my mom converted, and she got married. And then her husband started teaching us, because he was Muslim, and he started teaching us how to pray and stuff. And and yeah, and now we're Islam, ik family. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Any questions, brother and Mike? Make you up for your older brother and the I have a question. If anyone is receiving any unwanted messages, please inform What? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. 
Any questions that anybody has at all? <coughs> Inshallah. And what is that? Anything? Oh, um. Yeah, I have a couple, but one goes to my school, and my friends reacted like they were kind of, I don't know, they didn't say anything, they didn't think different about me, because they met me before, oh. How they treated you, your friends over there. Well, um, and my friends in Fort Orchard, where I used to live, like a long, long, long time ago. They were kind of like shocked, I guess, because um, all they thought was that Muslims were bad and stuff, like stereotypes, terrorists. like that Muslims were terrorists and stuff. So all they thought was like, oh no, oh my gosh. So, yeah, but I don't really care because. I'm Muslim for why I want to be not what they think of me. Wait. Oh. What made you look into Islam? Um. Oh, well, I can swim. Uh, well, my mom's friend Zahra, she started teaching me about it, and I liked it, and then I did my shahada. What? What is that? Oh, this is so many thoughts about it. Oh. Anybody else? Try. Are you African American? Yes, I am African American. My mom is white and my dad's black. Oh. Please, no print. Oh. Many African Americans accept Islam nowadays. There, I think majority either. What did that mean? What? What does it mean? Did you count? Did I count? Did you count? Count what? Oh. Oh. I knew that. Uh. <coughs> sure, any time. Anybody else want to talk? Show their story? Everybody good? Assalamu alaikum. Hey, Assalamu alaikum. I'm back. This is Sahara's daughter again. Does anybody else want the mic? I wanted to tell you guys something if nobody else. Oh, never mind. Okay. 